Over the years, PC gamers have become more and more stuck up. They always need multiple large screens, unnecessary amounts of PC horsepower, peripherals that perfectly fit their meaty hands, but not today. Today, we humble ourselves and make a tiny gaming setup on my bedroom floor. Why, you may ask? Why the hell not, I respond. Our setup starts with this Neewer portable camera monitor I got on Amazon a long time ago. It can be battery or wall powered, has an HDMI in and out, and it has a tripod mount as this is meant to go on budget camera rigs. It's labeled 4K on the corner, but that's clickbait. It only means that it accepts a 4K signal. It is definitely not 4K, and that's not really a problem at this size anyway. For peripherals, we have this Microsoft Wedge keyboard that I bought on eBay also a long time ago. It's powered by AAA batteries and is small. The fact that I already had it made it a good enough choice for me. As for the mouse, I have one of those generic portable mice that you can find everywhere. This one doesn't even have a fucking scroll wheel, so it sucks dick. And a small setup does that make. Now let's play some video games on it. Alright, let's join some solo Sky Wars. This is the sickest face cam. I'm gonna, like, actually hurt after this. Okay, well, I hit the wrong key to get the gapple, so... Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I already died. Wonderful, wonderful. No, no, I don't want to return to the lot. I can't scroll. Why is the mouse drifting? I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. Ah, and it's drifting. Let's just put on this sick armor. Hot key, there's no buttons on this mouse. I'm used to buttons. Okay, let's move closer. This is what I've been lacking. Ah, oh, this hurts my left wrist. I'm gonna do that. Scroll properly. Okay. Nope, no hotkeys. I tried to hotkey. Mistake. Big mistake. That's not a thing. Okay, luckily somebody built for us so we don't know. Oh my god, it's like the mouse is like lagging because the Bluetooth on my computer is not very good. This isn't a fair showcase for the mouse, but we're showcasing the tiny monitor. I got a kill. I'm so good. Yeah, bow spamming is never going to work like this. I can't aim. My elbows are hurting from the carpet. This is not ergonomical at all. My The blood is rushing out of my hands. Like I can't, I, my hands can't move. Okay, let's just go die real quick so I can get the blood flow back to my hands. Where is somebody? There's a guy. No, don't wall in. No. Okay, wait. Actually, yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Let's get blood flow again. I don't want to play any more of this. This sucks dick. So what conclusions can we draw from this tiny setup? I'm struggling to find meaning in it all, and I'm sure you are too. This isn't practical in any way, shape, or form. This little screen costs more than an entry-level, normal size monitor. The keyboard and mouse are worse than cheap peripherals from Amazon, the ergonomics are a bit less than ideal, and you perform worse in any game you play. There is no reason to make a setup like this, so just be glad you watched me do it rather than waste your own time and money doing it. Thanks for watching me acquire long-term back problems. If you enjoyed it, then get yourself subscribed because I'd love to do more dumb shit like this in the future. Enjoy your day, fellas and fillets.